This is a steamboat that we built, <laughs> my team and I, uh, for the for our uh, uh, engineering project. Um, hopefully, you've already seen my bench testing demo. And this is the boat itself in operation. Um, it's somewhat sensitive to the amount of heat that it has as well as whether there's any error in the system or not. I had to modify this turkey baster uh, so that I could fill up the uh, system with, with water and purge all the air out. Doesn't like having air in the uh, heating system. And the rudders do not work very well. So what you see is a wood boat that was donated to the cause. It, the boat itself is based on a rowboat. It's really rather simple, um, but well built, and of a good design, especially for our needs. That's the important part, is it fits our needs. What's in the boat is an oil-fired kerosene lantern style heater that I built out of uh, empty aluminum tins from tea candles. I made my wick. Uh, this is an aluminum heating coil that I made. There's a bolt in the, in the boat that's for dead weight so that the, so that the heating, so that the thrust ports stay submerged. If they suck air the boat stops moving. How this works is that this is based on the, on the principles of a flash boiler. So the flame heats, heats the water very quickly. It boils almost instantly. The boiling water creates pressure which uh, forces uh, thrust out these ports here. Then as the system empties, it creates a vacuum, drawing fresh water back in, uh, which boils and creates thrust. Vacuum, fresh water, instant boil, thrust, vacuum, thrust, vacuum. And even though it cycles, the boat generally moves rather smooth. Now this flash boiler, um, that we're looking at. There's nothing new about a flash boiler. It's been around since oh, the mid 1800s. Um, it was used on steam cars. It's been used on steam trains. It's currently in use in your coffee pot. The Mr. Coffee that I use every morning boils water and percolates water based on exactly this, a flash boiler. If you've heard of the tankless hot water system for a house, that's based on the principles of a flash boiler. Of course, it doesn't get so hot that it boils the water, but it uses this same principle. And this is my magic wand. All my problems go away when I shake my magic wand. As you can see, oh, here comes the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. As you can see, the boat is moving around just fine. This will go indefinitely until it runs out of fuel. What do you got? Oh, the Loch Ness Monster has come over too. Come on, move Harley. Move Julia. Good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I had something I wanted to say, and now I don't remember what it is. The amount of heat is rather sensitive for this. More obviously, if there's not enough heat, the water won't boil, 
and the boat won't move. If there's too much heat, the water boils dry and doesn't replenish itself. And so the boat moves very quickly, but not very far, and then stops. Some of the problems that I've had to overcome, my first problem is I was trying to use a two-piece boiler, um, but it didn't seal, and so it couldn't create any pressure. It took me a while to uh, get across, get around that, and, and find the problem. So then I moved into a one-piece boiler. Um, if you've seen my bench test, I've talked about the candles that I started with, tea candles, alcohol burner, and um, I found continued repeatable success with the lamp oil. It took me 22 bench tests and 67 other experiments to get to this point. Um, even with this lamp oil, it seems like every third, um, every third, uh, it doesn't work consistently. And 